What is up? How is everybody doing? Been a hot minute. Got a whole lot, but I'm going to show it off. What's up? What's up, everybody? Woo, it is early, 10.30 on a Friday, because you know what that means. That means that I have to get early. So you know how you're getting older, right? You have you, you have to prep the day before, and you go to bed super early, so you go to bed super early again. No, Right. No, I said that right, super early both ways. So this way you prep yourself for the next day, instead of like being rambunctious and a party goer. Sleeping real late, then waking up real early. I'm not doing that anymore. So that's why I'm up this early because I have to wake up tomorrow for absolutely no apparent reason. How's everybody doing? Top of the morning to you on a vape channel. Obviously, we're going to go over only vapes, but this time it's only going to be about me, not anybody else. Someone asking a question about a vape, I'll probably answer, but uh, not typically because I just, I really want to cover some things here that I haven't really discussed or shared too much on YouTube. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason. Uh, well, obviously, the reason being, number one, is that, you know, I have patrons and I have to show them things before I show the general public because they're paying for it. So that, that's the number one reason. Then the number two reason is a reason why I don't really like to talk about any of my products. I may say the name of it. I may even kind of hint towards the design of it, but I don't really want to go over too much to show pictures because I know what's going to happen is a lot of these Chinese companies that watch me, uh, they take design notes from other videos. I'm, I know that sounds so cocky and conceited, but I promise you that I have merit behind that. Like, unlike, <laughs> this is going to piss some people off. Unlike Trump, I actually have proof. That was a, that was a joke. That was a fun. Was it, was it too far for a majority of you? Uh, yeah. So anyway, I, I, I don't really like to talk or really discuss too much of them. However, today will be a little bit different as it will, uh, as I will cover some of the design ideas behind it. I don't know if I'm going to show you a picture or not. I can. I just, I don't know if I feel up to it. Oh, you got the joke, Ryan? I'm glad someone got it because I knew someone was going to be pissed off. Oh my God, Jay's talking about Trump in a negative light. Shut up. Cancel Jay. Cancel culture. Oh, it's fine. I trigger everybody, whether it's Democrats, Republicans, Independents, Moderates, Left Center, Right Center, Far Right, Far Left, Lesbian, Gays, Transgenders, Fatties, Skinnies, Blacks, Whites, Mexicans, Cabbage Pickers, you name it. I I, I offend everybody equally all the, all the same all the time. Before we get over it, I just figured I would just get the intro out, kind of introduce myself. For those of you that don't know who I am, neither do I. Um, I, I like to think that I'm a pretty good person. Uh, I like to also think that I know how to do builds and I know how to do reviews. Although most would argue and say that I know neither of those and I don't know who the fuck I am and I have no idea what a build is, which is why I've lied to you all these years. I've, I haven't kept it real. I told you that I build these coils, but I don't, I buy them all from China. I I knew I had to come out with it eventually. I figured I would just put it all on the record now. The owner of Geek Vape has been making them for me. So he gives you all the reject coils. That's right. Why they're always like crooked. He gives me the coils <laughs> that can't make it into the coilology sets <laughs> because he knows that people would complain that the fuse claptons aren't properly made. So therefore, he's like, let me send it to Jay because Jay can just say he made it, which is why it's crooked. That's the real story. And I will also tell you before you get this uh, jumped off that if you do do capital letters, do do. If you do do, what the fuck? If you do do. I think if you do do. <laughs> do do brown. If you do do capital letters, you will be timed out. And if you do it three times, you will be banned from the channel. So just putting that out there right there. Um. 
Well, Frostbite, let's just let's just let's hold the questions, okay? Because you just got here, you've been here for for all the three minutes, and you're already asking questions about products that I'm not even discussing because that's not a Jay Hayes design, um, which is also a registered DBA. That is, so uh, you don't have to worry about me just making up some shit and saying the plastic bottle company, PBC, and that's what I'm running with. Uh, so yeah, I, I just, there's a lot of things that I want to cover today and, and I, in a way my ideas are coming out of the closet like I am. So we'll just, we'll see how this goes. So basically what's going to happen is when I did the Jenna RDA, I made it very clear that I wasn't going to release anything mass produced. Uh, but while well, prior to the Jenna, my idea was to never release things that were mass produced that would be all over the place. I just didn't want to do it. Uh, and then obviously there was a, a wide plethora and a wide array of people that were like, you know what? I really want to get your design. I really want to do it. Uh, uh, I'm not going to refer to myself as a third person because it's just weird. Right. But so I was like, okay, well, that's fine then. So we'll make them. And we made over a thousand. And then of, of course there were people that still wanted it. And of course you still have people that complain about the price, but they didn't factor in that it was made in America. And when you look at made in American RDAs or made in America, I'm sorry, not American, uh, they're. They're never under $100. Uh, so my idea was to go, okay, below that. Uh, but the original idea, now, now just pay attention, just see me out. The original idea, I had, all, had asked all patrons, well, would you rather a mass produce made in America, Jenna RDA, that has a unique deck that's innovative, that is missing a feature, or would you rather a higher-end product well, it's not the quality isn't going to change, but there's a feature on it that still has yet to be implemented today, still to this day. And they said, well, we'd rather the uh, a, a big chunk of people said that they would rather the more expensive one. And then it kind of balanced out. It was like 50 50. And then I think at the very end, it was like 55, 55, 45 going with the cheaper route, which is the ninety five dollar. So fine. Made a bunch of them. And then at the fifteen hundred mark, people still wanted more. So we made another thousand. And that brought it up to 2,500, which is a lot of RDAs. And then, of course, people wanted more. So we brought it up to 3,000. Then people wanted more. So we brought it up to 3,500. So the, it, whether or not people will argue and say that it is not mass produced, it's, it's, it's not that popular of an RDA, that's fine. Then it's not popular for you. I, I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to hurt my feelings by saying you don't like it or you want to break it or you hate your mother and your dad beat you as a kid. Like, I, I don't care about any of that. That does nothing for me. You have to understand it. So, um, and then, of course, you made the RTA, which was not necessarily an RTA. I didn't want to do Jenna V2, Jenna V2 slash R, uh, Vena, Vena. That's that's the Vienna from Haku and the Jenna got together, made an RDA. I didn't want to do uh, another thing uh, that is another variation. The idea was, with any of my ideas, was to build on a platform that you already have that is good and just go on from there. A lot of companies from China will not do this because there's less money in it. It makes more sense for you to make a new product and have people to hype that new product up than it is to have an accessory to accessorize what you already previously had. It just, it, on a business standpoint, it makes no sense to do that. Where it does make sense is maintaining the original customers you had and them being super happy that they kept the original Jenna deck. Well, made the RTA fantastic to 500 of them. Those were only released to patrons. We didn't do 3,000 just because, well, I could promise you that a lot of the people that bought them originally probably don't even vape anymore. It didn't make sense to, we could have made 1,000 and I kind of wish we did, uh, but we only made 500 and they went fucking fast. Like, considering I had, I think at that point, 525 patrons, there were people that wanted duplicates. So, and the idea was to not allow that to be released to the general public. Of course, people had bought them. They left being a hazer. And then that they wanted to get their money back by selling the RTA and get their money back for being a hazer to get that RTA. Which is fine with whatever. I mean, it is what you, what are you going to do about it? You can only restrict it as much as possible. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to ask is why restrict it? Why why not make it so it's all over the world? 
first off, let me let me ask a question on top of that. Are you one of those people that think I'm all about the money? Because if you are, the way that I'm doing it is not the money way. The way that I'm doing it is the least amount of money way. The, the money way would be to make multiple thousands of them, or even better, make an RTA by itself, go with China, uh, and then just make um, just make thousands and thousands and thousands of them. But I don't do that. So if the answer to that question is no, then what I would respond to you with is, I just want people to get it to feel special and it means something. A lot of people that buy things, whether it's knives or vapes or cars, they're very insignificant. It, it, it may make you happy right now and it may make you happy for a month, but there comes a point in time where you don't give a shit about that product anymore. That even happens to some of you, you some of you people out there uh, with your significant others uh, or your dog. You may not like it anymore, so you bring it to the pound because it's not as cute as what it was when it was a month old. Well, there's even people that do that with human beings. But I, with the idea, all jokes aside, was to create something that meant something, that had a meaning. And that's like being a hazer. That's what it does. It has a meaning. Whether or, whether or not people get that, I, I don't know how to break that down for you. Uh, so that was the reason for the RTA. So what does this lead? This leads into people have told me, you know, and myself, has, has told myself that I want to make a dual coil RDA. So there's two dual, dual coil RDAs. You have the, the Jenna M, which is the Jenna deck, but the M stands for modified or my mother's maiden name, Mellow. So it has two meanings. And that can be used with the original Jenna deck. I, I'm sorry, not the deck, the cap or the slam cap or the RTA or any other accessory that is made for the Jenna will work with that. And that is... For lack of better terms, without giving it away, watch watch how I do this. Watch this. I have only ever in my life, out of all reviews I've ever done, done one review. One review for one product that I've ever seen do this. And yup, that's where I got the idea from. You see what I just did there? How I gave credit to the Kabuki? Absolutely. fucking lootly Oh, shit! That's the remix Wiki, wiki. Uh, see what I did? Now, if other companies could take a little note out of a hat and do exactly that, you'll make a lot of people happy. Every RDA is like every other RDA. They're all made of metal. Yeah, and you're a fucking clown. That's why you have makeup on your face. Congratulations for pointing out the obvious. And now we've moved on to the next segue. Uh, so the Kabuki, uh, great example, I have it right here in front of me, is the only RDA that I've ever seen that has an Ultim deck, but there's there's flaws in this, and I mentioned this in this review from three years ago. I've never seen another company do this. Watch, watch how many companies start doing it after this video. Just watch, let's just start to, now if you got one in chat and you know of one, let me know. I am all fucking ears because the only thing I could find was the Kabuki. Of course, it's not going to look like the Jenna. The Jenna's its own thing. But the idea is to make a full Ultim deck. Is it smart? Honestly, no, it's not. It's not smart at all. Because unlike a metal deck, when a metal deck gets hot, it just kind of, well, it expands. That's what metal does. Well, if you're getting it that hot to where it's expanding and breaking the cap, probably don't vape. Cook. That would be, actually, don't cook. Blow tor Nope, don't do that either. Do something where the heat don't matter. You could get fondue really hot. Get fondue. That'll work. That's why you dip the chocolate in the cheese. That sounds disgusting. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> God, that makes me want to gag. That's the only audio I've ever seen that. And it, honestly, it's not smart. Because if a coil touches the Ultim, watch what I'm doing right now. Listen, I'm telling you what's bad about it already. If the coil touches the Ultim, what will happen is you'll fuck up the structure of that. Now, this is real Ultim. This is not Ultim that is polycarbonate that is dyed yellow, which China makes you believe is real Ultim. Though that's not Ultim. Ultim has a higher degree of breakdown, essentially, than polycarbonate. Uh, then I, mm, I can't remember if it's higher than Delrin. I think it's a little bit lower than Delrin. Actually, I think it's a little bit higher, uh, which are all plastics, right? Uh, but 
the idea is to, to, to make something because there's an RTA section that will also be all Ultim. You see what I just did there? I just told you, all Ultim. RTA doesn't really matter because it, it is what it is. It's not going to get that hot. And it's also going to be all clear. Now, to give you a better example, so watch how I do this shit. I don't know why companies can't do this. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Because it's like, oh, we came up with this. No, the fuck you didn't. So uh, the first thing I think of is the Tanko. Now, I know that there are a lot of other RTAs that do do a full top. There's even a Chinese company. But none of them do full Ultim here and Ultim on the bottom. So when you look at it, you don't see any metal. It's never been done. That I know of. Uh, or polycarbonate. If, if I didn't know about it, I would tell you right now. Uh, the general will acquire that. We'll, we'll do that. Um, it will. Now, uh, whether or not it will be available for all, that I don't know. Because there's going to be a very limited amount that is made. And the only way to acquire them right off the jump would be a patron. Other than that, the Jenna M and the mod, I'll get into that shortly, are going to be publicly released. Just like the original Jenna. Not the RTA. It is imperative that you understand that the RTA being this. Okay, it, it will not it will not be released to the public. That's just the RTA. Good. I think I, I think I just covered everything with the Jenna M. And the Jenna M allows you to run a dual coil 22 millimeter with more build space than you have in a 25 millimeter. Doesn't matter how I did it, you'll just see when you see it. Peak is also very expensive. It's very expensive, and the Le, Ma the Le Mirage by Vaponort also did a fully peak RDA with a metal cap on the outside. It's not very attractive. It's a very ugly color, and you don't really get peak any other colors because the color of it is what makes it peak. Whether you're talking about PEEK, which is what they use insulators as, also in engine blocks, or if you're talking about PEK, which is not the same as PEEK, PEEK, is not the same as P-E-K or the same as P-E-A-K. They're all different types of uh, polys or plastics. So, uh, but no, I, Peak is just disgusting. It will be Ultim and it will be clear. And the material of the clear is not going to be polycarbonate because it would just fall apart on an RDA uh, as far as the deck is concerned. The idea is literally to look at how you would look at a, 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 a mod. I swear, timestamp this shit. Uh, and you would see it and see everything on the inside. That would essentially be the same thing with the Jenna RTA. Whether it is the coil heating up and you don't have to worry about it fogging up. You don't have to worry about any of that. I'm going to do that. That's going to happen. So that that's that, right? That that's the that's the Jenna and the and the Jenna M really is. To, I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys. Whenever you watch me, and I stream a lot on Twitch daily, daily, every day. I think probably four to, I, I want to say six times a week, but that might be a little bit stretchy. So we'll say four to six times. Every time you see me, it's the Jenna RTA, the Jenna RDA, and the Mose. Now the problem with the Mose is, uh, do I have a dual coil? Yes, 502. Do I love the 502? Yes, for squonking. I don't love it for dripping. So I don't have a dripping dual coil. The Jenna Dual will do that, but the Jenna Dual is actually designed for a dual coil Jenna RTA. Not saying that you can't use it with the RDA, it's just only designed for a dual coil versus the Jenna regular deck is designed for a single because that's how I like to vape. You see what I did there? How I made it for me and I didn't say it was for me, and it, it's like me making a mouth to lung. Sound familiar? Where you you make an RTA that you don't fucking use, or an RDA that you don't fucking use, and you say that you did it because it's something you want to get into, so you make the product? Yeah, that's not what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm making the dual coil so you can do a dual coil RTA, and I'm not doing it for me. Uh, let, let's just put that on record. Will I use it as a dual? I think the idea of it is cool. I do. I think the idea of being able to put a dual coil inside of a 16 or 17 millimeter deck and have plenty of room is super fascinating. Uh, so do it. Why not? If you make a little bit of money, make a little bit of money. Fuck it. Where's the what? So it's, just put it on the table. Transparency. 
It worked for Trump for a little bit. Not so much now. But uh, yeah, transparency worked before. It worked for me, so I'm going to run with that. That's why I'm doing it. And that's the Gen M deck. I know a lot of people are pumped up about it. It's been it's been a topic of discussion. It will probably be finished this week. Uh, actually, today. Today is probably when it will be finished. And uh, probably Monday or Tuesday, they got to be polished up. Monday or Tuesday... I'm just going to say on the safe side, Wednesday of next week is when we should start seeing them for sale. What's up, Vape bro? What's up, man? What's going on with you? Yeah, I, I, I wish I could make more money. You know, uh, something tells me I should start like working with Aspire with Prestige or something because, you know, that's what companies are all doing. Every fucking high-end company has essentially faltered to China. I was reading something. I don't want to get too far, off, too, too far off the mark here, but I was reading on Scott Wood Designs who make the tank. Really good, solid product made in America. How he's actually thinking about going to China because it will make his products cheaper. He'll be able to get more out. And I told him that it will tarnish the brand. Well, I didn't tell him. I just responded that on a Facebook post. And that's what you're going to see is people. And this is why look at any other thing aside from faith. They've all moved overseas. Why? Because it's cheaper. It's cheaper. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm not so much worried about cheapness as I am quality. I get what you're going to say. Well, I do. If I, you could get quality with cheap. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Right? Like if you buy a pair of roller skates, you put them on and they were $1.50 and you, you hop off the curb and a wheel flies off, you break your fucking bike cuspid on the tarmac. Whose fault is that? Yours or the $1.50 roller skates? Well, maybe if you would have bought the $50 roller skates, that wouldn't have happened. Or maybe you would have been able to do it more times on the $50 roller skates. Uh, as you can tell, I have no idea how much fucking roller skates are. They might be, I don't know, 80 bucks. How much is a pair of roller skates, Bree? Uh, Six bucks? Six dollars for a pair of roller skates. I still feel like that's entirely too cheap. You get what you fucking pay for, right? You buy some bullshit and 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 whatever. Why don't you and Bree team up to do a pod system? First off, Bree is my sidekick, right? Bree is not my channel. Okay, Bree shows on here because I have to remain relevant and I show her tits off to the world because I have to get views. And that's the best way that I know how is if I can't get views via my reviews and my relevancy, then I'll use somebody else and exploit the shit out of them to do so. Uh, if there was a way to hire a bunch of baby rabbits and have them in the back of every single dead rabbit video and then shoot them all on the stream, I would do it. I would. But I know that YouTube would take the video down for killing the baby rabbits. But I would get views, but I don't do it because I don't know where to go to outsource rabbits. Uh, it's all about remaining um, somewhat relevant. And uh, yeah, it's funny when you say this and how other people took this so personally. Remember when I had this conversation, I'm not going to mention your name. I was like, dude, you're just trying to be relevant. Oh, my God. No, I'm not. What? Why is that a bad thing? Like, why? What? Remaining relevant is good. That means you mean something. No? Okay. You're trying to be a piece of shit. Yes. Yes, I am. That's better. There you go. Um, let's put it on the table. Uh, so anyway, let, let me go back to what I was saying. So now uh, I do have a, a single battery mod coming out that is extremely innovative, but that I, I don't want to talk about that because the only way to acquire that is via Patreon. That will not be released publicly. I, I, I don't want to talk. That, I'm just saying, you may see a video for it. You may not. I'm just going to kind of throw that up in the air. Now, uh, I am, I am, I am, I am. I have to be very careful about what I say here because I don't want this to get out and someone start doing it. So I am releasing something with a high-end company out of Greece. You see me do reviews on them. If you're a member of the channel, I did a review on the Maximus and the Regina. Wasn't the biggest fan of the Regina, but I know that they have potential, which is why I'm going to work with them. We're going to do a dual battery, period. That's the end of the discussion. It's a regulated device. Um, the smallest possible high-end dual battery box mod ever made. Now, 
that's not a hard feat by itself because, well, there are no companies that make a dual battery high-end box mod. Well, there is one. I don't know if Chris is in here. He mentioned it the other day. Uh, Vertigo, I think it is Vertigo Mods, the Golem. It looks like it's the size of a fucking toaster oven. Yeah, not that. Um, the the shape may be similar to some people, but uh, again, there are pictures of this on Patreon. Very, very rough, but I'm not going to share a lot of that until it's ready to come out because I don't want other companies getting ideas. Uh, but that will be released to Patreons first, and then, here it comes, released publicly, meaning anybody could get them. Anybody could get them. It doesn't matter. Doesn't doesn't matter if you hate me, right? And you know it, it, it's a great example. Like I'm not a fan of any vape, right? But I can still like the products. That that, that little jammy I just did from El Mono Vapor Door. Uh, the Requiem, the Requiem RDA. I think that's what it was called. I liked it. The Revolver. Just because I don't like a company doesn't mean I can't like a product. I just hate who fucking runs it. So you could essentially, well, you're going to love my mod. I could promise you that. If you like dual battery, powerful, small, yeah, you're going to like this. Well, it's not just my mod. I don't want to take all credit. I don't want to, and it's not a name slap, but, you know, me and MK Mods, we're going to bang this out. We're going to, we're going to rock shit. We're, do the best that we can. And I'm going to tell you the reason why that is. I, I don't know how much I really want to dig into this. But the problem I have is a lot of the high-end mods that I have, first off, none of them are dual battery. I use a lot of power on a dual coil RDA. I am so tired of trying to get with Rebel and ask them to send me something that doesn't fall apart, where the button doesn't fall out. I, I've i literally waited two months for a dual battery with nothing. I have nothing to show. I have the shit on the wall, but half of those 3D printed shits are falling apart. They're falling apart. Now, is that necessarily on Rebel? In part, yes, it is. And I'm not going to use a Chinese box mod that has a proprietary chip that's not going to work. So I don't have any options. It's just like old school way before you would go, you know, like let's just say you're a machine guy. You're doing hobbyist shit at your house and you're like, oh, I don't have this part. So what do I do? You take a piece of like PVC pipe and you make some shit, screw it together. Wow, I just made this. I should invent this. And then five years later, like now you can buy something for everything. This is a market for lack of better terms. Nobody has touched. I don't I don't know why. Guys, I have a lot of fucking mods on my wall. You can't show me one dual battery DNA 250C that is high end. You, I, I challenge you just to watch all of my videos. I can't fucking find any. Like, I don't have any. I don't know why. I, I've talked about this before. And then here comes... Dovpo and Lost Vape, that's not fucking high end, right? Let's just shut that down right now. Uh, that's about as much as high end as a Ford Escort is high end for cars. It's not fucking high end. It's not. We're just done there. We're, we're totally done. I'm going to tell you this too. This PMTA shit happening, right? I'm going to tell you right now. You want to see less and less Chinese stuff being made. As much as their CEOs may come online and say, oh, we support American Vapors. We love this. You don't, okay, you can't do shit about the law. Right, that that's just the way that it is. So uh, eventually, you'll see that, and vaping is going to go to where it was back in 2016 or, or 2015, where everything was kind of on like groups. I'm not going to say the social platform on groups, and that's the way that it's going to be. And I I feel very happy with that versus Chinese bullshit because even now, certain states I can't sell to people that are trying to quit smoking cigarettes. I'm I'm not able to do so. First off, because of the limitations of the coronavirus and then the limitations to what I could sell, only tobacco flavors, you know, and then the limitation of the type of products. Granted, I'm in New Jersey, so that's a little bit different. Um, and then, of course, you get into the limitations of the PMTA of what juices you can sell that are tobacco that are already in uh, uh, trying to get approved. You Write me a list of how many companies. So, you know, it, it, it's... It's a matter of making things that, first off, I know other people like, including myself, especially the dual battery. They're, they're, they just don't exist. It's just not a thing. There, there, There's none. There's no high-end dual battery 18650 box mods. There's none. There, there is quite literally none. 
if you're going to pull out the Golem, which is a 21,700, or uh, I think JPM made one, but it's big. I'm not interested. And usually the reason why it's big is because it's wood. You know, with metal, you can make it smaller because metal is stronger. Wood will snap. So you have to go a little bit thicker. But that doesn't mean it can't be done. You just have to do it better. That's all. Las Vegas, not I am. That's not I am. That's a that's a joke. That's what that is. Uh, especially now, Las Vegas is fucking garbage. Go watch the Thelema, which is a religion, by the way. Uh, go watch the Thelema review. That's that's not high end. No, not even close. There is what 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 is there? What it what is there, Savan? I'll t t tell me what, tell me what you got, Sven. That's high end dual battery. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Yeah, the Maggie Mod. That's the one I was thinking of, Ben Tonks. Yes, yes, you're right, the Maggie Mod. But that's not small. That's not small. That's not small. It's not small. That's what I was thinking. The DPM, DPM or DWM International out of, uh, not the Philippines, Malaysian. It's Malaysian. You, you guys, I don't, I don't know who. But do you see how I don't know who any of these are? That, let me tell you what high end is. You ready? Watch this. Geppetto. Stickman Mods. Vertigo. Oh, my God. I, I, I can literally... I could go all day with this. Uh, fakers mods. Uh, DNV, DNV. Uh, I used to, I would say no name, but not anymore. Not that they went to China. SVA, I would say that too, but they went to China too. So a lot of these high end companies, I, I got nothing. Boxer, Boxer and Rebel are not high end as well. No. Yeah, DPM mods. Yes, there you go. Philippines, I'm sorry. Yes. But again, that's a big mod. It's big. It's not small. Let me let me take a look. Let me take a look at what you're typing here. Well, you know, the problem is, even if there is, they've never been marketed. Chris, send me send me a link on Discord. I got nothing when I come up with that. Because I, I can't, I, that pulls up nothing for me. Get me a link, brother. Shoot me one. Turnwood FX, do they make a dual battery 250? No. Turnwood FX? They make 75 Cs. Yeah, no, no, no. Strangers Mods, no, no, no. Strangers Mods does. I think it's called the Abomino. Uh, never did the review on it, but it's not small. It's not small. Ah, uh, Vape Bra, that's a rough one, brother. I feel like I'm going to get myself into some shit here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Right? We're, we're going to allow one people to do a fuck up. Right? We'll say, well, not a fuck up, but a slip up. Right? We'll allow that slip up. Not saying it wasn't good because it was, but we'll we'll allow that slide. You know what I mean? Like we'll we'll let that one go. But I could promise you that if they did make a dual battery DNA, it wouldn't be small. Look how big the right there. That's right there on the on the wall. Right there. Look how big it is. Guys, when I'm saying small, I'm talking about this, man. I'm talking about this. This is what I'm talking about. It's not a thing. You're not going to find me one. Find me one. D just one. You guys are all going to show me shit that's like the size of a mini fridge. It's small. Small DNA 250C dual battery. S show me that. Show me, show me that right there. They, they don't pay attention, Mike. They're hearing shit out of context. 
You you can't. You can't. I'll wait. I'll wait. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no way, Ben. No way. No way. I would not say Asmodus is high end. No fucking way. No way. No. If it, l l I'm just going to tell you this, okay? And this may piss some people off. If it's made in China, it's not high end. That is your, that is your number one telltale sign right there. As much as you hate Apple, that's made in China. That's not high end. Use that, apply that same argument right there to vape products. It's the same shit, man. If it's made in China, it's not high end. It goes right out the window. That's it. It's, it's over. That's it. Just like that. The evil dildo's too big. This? This is fucking massive. Chinese junk. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bull bullshit. Tiny V2. 3D printed. Not high end. It's If something is 3D printed, it's not high end. It, because if, if I can make it, right, with whether an FDM, SLA, if I can make that from my house, it's not high end. So here, I, I feel like I've done videos about what high end is. And anybody wants to argue and say, oh, you don't know, Jay. Really? Okay. All right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Now, no one's listening, Bray. They hear what they want to hear. That's the problem. It's very selective. Small. I just showed you, Cody, right here. This is small. Right here. This. This right here is small. I'll even give you an extra eight millimeters. Show me something eight millimeters bigger than this. You can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. Please explain the definition of high end. If one of my moderators can post the link of the video, what is high end? I have a whole, I actually have, I think I have three different videos defining what high end is. Yeah, no, Box Mod Mafia is fantastic. F fantastic mods. F fantastic. I will not take that away from them at all. Great 3D printing. Everything across the board is good. Uh, but that's not high end. It's not. It's not. Well, the, Richie, I don't know who the fuck you are, Richie, but you just nailed it, kind sir. There, There is, I, I'd say that there is a handful of exceptions to that. A handful. Uh, like even the Jenna RDA. Ask me if I think that's high end. Nope. It is handmade. It's made in America. But a lot of people consider it high end. I don't. I don't. Be, you know why? Watch this. Because of the price tag. The price tag doesn't match what high end is. And that's my own fucking product. That's my own. I'm telling you straight up. That's not high end. It's it's not high end. Just like that easy. I don't have a problem saying that. Some people consider it that, which is fine. Um, which is fine that people consider Asmodus high end. But my opinion, no. No, it's not. Not at all. Asmodus is not high end. <laughs> I can it's close, but it missed the mark. You're better off just lying to people, telling them that it was made somewhere else and put a different name on it. Then you might not have got away with it. No, you wouldn't have because of the chip. Yeah, high mid end. Yeah, I would I would have to agree with that. I would I would yeah, I'd put Gen yeah. I'd say the RTA though. Uh, see, this is how much I look at high end that I feel that I'm being too cocky saying that the Jenna RTA is high end. I feel like it's too cocky. That's how that's how high of a bar I have for the word high end. Uh, I, I yeah, I'd say the RTA is high end. I would, I would. The, the machining, the quality. I would, I would say the price. I would say that the RTA falls in the high end section. Yes.
Yeah, and again, there there are there are like like uh, that that Ben guy just mentioned. Uh, there are some dual battery high ends. I take that back. See, I, I take that back. Uh, I, I knew about the Warlock, but that's a twenty one seven hundred. But that not Warlock. Duh, the Golem. It's all the same shit. It's witchcraft, or maybe it's not witchcraft. Whatever. It's demons. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. Like they they're just there. May be some. There may be whether or not they're small. And you real the reason why that is is because they can't figure out how to structurally sound something that is wooden or resin without it being because metal allows you that smallness. It does. It's not so much a chip. It's not the chip. The metal uh, allows that. It does because it's strong. Wood, not so much, or resin, not so much. No, the G-Class, no. Anything by SX Mini is not high-end. No. They did used to make nice stuff. SX Mini. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah. Yee-he used to make, Yee-he, I would say, would probably be the closest. But you have to also understand that Yee-he started off by making clones, man. Clones of DNAs. That's how the company got started. Uh, I'll show you a very, very, very good, very good Yee-Hee product right here. The Q-Mini. Fantastic product. They don't make shit like this no more, though. You remember that single battery version of that? That came in, like, that Lexus one. That was sexy. Oh, oh yeah. we. I have one. The Y... The MX class. Yeah. The, the MX class or the ML class. Fucking amazing. Don't I have one? They had one with a button on the side. Oh man, that's a that that you hazers out there. Can you find me an MX class or ML class brand new, uh, black? No, I gotta have. One. I have to have one. I like the white. Hold on, I have to have one. I have to have one. There's so many models. We'll worry about it later. I don't know where it is right now, but the ML class or the MX class by SX. But again, not high end. Not high end. Is billet box high end? Yes. I'd say lower high end, but yes, it is high end. Ah, big bro, think about it. Aluminum, machined, made in America, two people. I think we should give them that. I think we should give them the pass. And people still. I think. I think. I. I yeah. I, I think we should give them a pass, Vape bro. I do. I do. Obviously, it's not what our idea of what typical high end is, but I, I, I would put it in that bracket. I think it's safe to say, I, you know, not like high, high end, but it, it, it's in the upper class, upper, upper class. Yeah, it, 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 it is, it is. I, I'd, I'd want to give it to Billet Box. I would. That you have to realize that Billet Box is the reason why you see things used. The Boro tank, that's their design. That's And they have never, I repeat, cloned anything. Like, that is theirs. Leaps and bounds, man. Leaps and bounds. I, I, I think we should give, I think we should give Bill a box a pass. I, I, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, I do. The RDA will be for public, not the. Wait, I don't know what you're talking about, Nicholas. He's watching a different stream. Oh, yeah, you're watching something else. 
No love for YouTube members. You're wrong, Omar. You are very wrong. If YouTube allowed me to post links here, I thought about this the other day because I do a Zoom, right? Where we where we do like hazers. And I thought about posting the link in the $25 tier because that's when it unlocks on Patreon to YouTube members. And I'll start doing that. Uh, but I can't give links out to buy anything on YouTube. So it's it's not that I don't have love for you. I just don't want to break YouTube's policy. Trust that. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me. Plus, uh, in all due respect, a lot of the YouTube members are $3 tiers. $3 tiers on Patreon don't really get much of anything. They're just there to support. Uh, well, they'll, they'll get first access to it. It's just you have to go through all the other tiers. It's not a matter of no love for YouTube members. That's incorrect. I think that's unfair. If I order a mod from a modder and it's one of one, if I order a mod from a modder and it's a one of one design, is it the considered high end? Sure, Moto, why not? Why not? Because he's making that for you, right? That goes into what that Richie person said about if, if, if I, I don't, I, I don't know if I'd go as far as what Richie said, saying the slave part, but if it's, again, there are things that are mass produced. I guess it depends on what you mean by mass produced, like over 5,000 made, then the GT4 and GT3 are not high end, but I put them in the high end bracket. So there, there are certain exceptions. It's just very, very rare. It's very rare. Uh, the RTA, first off, the RTA, anybody asking about the RTA, it's already been released. It's That was already released to patrons. That's the only RTA that will be dropped now will be the ultimate and the clear versions. That's it. Stainless steel are gone. That's why they sell for, I don't know, $500 to $1,500 because they, they're very limited, very limited. Uh, DNA 75 C A I O. Uh, while there are 3d printed versions, China doesn't really want to do it, man. China does not want to use DNAs anymore. It's too much money. They can make their own chip for less than five bucks and pump out the mod and charge a hundred dollars for it. So your DNAs are not a dead breed. They're dead to China, but the, the, it's not. It's just not in their best interest as a business to do it. Isn't Dead Man's Hand, isn't that made in China? The, what's the one that the, the, is out of Canada, but the products are made in China? They make mods and RTAs. I don't know if that's Dead Man's Hand. That might be something else with a D. I can't think of it right now. Do I think Kennedy is high end? Yes, Kennedy. Kennedy is kind of like one of the founders of. I mean, as much as a high end as a metal tube could be, yes, I'd put Kennedy in that. Yeah, I, I, I would consider Kennedy high end. I would, I would. Death wish. There you go, Mike McQuirk. Oh, it's so weird seeing your name like that. There you go. You're right. My bad. My bad, chatter. Death Wish mods, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, not Dead Man's Hand. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh, they do. They do. They do outsource their shit. Absolutely. Absolutely, they outsource. It's, it's more effective money-wise.
unicorn mods not high end. George, uh, Jay Hayes is just Jay Hayes. China is just greedy when you're buying a couple thousand DNA boards at a time. They really aren't that expensive. No, when you're buying that many, no, they're not. Uh, you know, it's just like anything else. You buy a multitude of them, the price goes down. It's just we can make our own chip and make it look similar and, excuse me, and then charge the same price as if a DNA was in it. Yeah, and just because something has a high price to it doesn't mean it's high end. Although that is kind of a, that is kind of a, one of the first symbols of it. There are a lot of RTAs that are very, very high priced that are made in China. There's a lot. Like the Kodama significantly. Absolutely, absolutely. Strangers mods are good, yep, but they're metal. They're metal. I've, I've talked to Marco before about doing a collab. It's just he can't keep up with my demand. It, there, there, there'd be no way. Plus, I don't want to dip into his fundage, if that makes sense. You know, it, it's not, I have no idea how to fuck to say your name. I'm just going to say Aphelius. Um, I, 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 when you're talking about proprietary chips, Gene, Adam, the Quest, uh, whatever. The first question you have to ask yourself is they usually put a USB in there and they promote firmware upgradable. When's the last time you've upgraded the firmware on your mod? Probably never. I know there's going to be some guy in the chat that's going to be like, I do it all the time. No, you don't. You're talking out of your asshole. Uh, with DNAs, I can't wait. We've been through this on that Twitch stream about updates. I love updates. On the phone, uh, whether it's firmware for my, my Zumba, my Zumba Roomba, uh, I love updates. Uh, but I, I can't wait to plug in a DNA to see if there is an update and then a different, a different service pack and be able to change the theme around. You can't do that. Yee he tried to do it for a while, but you still can't customize it like you can that of a DNA 75C or 250C. You just, you can't. And that to me doesn't necessarily specify high end. That just, it's customizable. And to me, that's a win. That's a win. I don't think any of those chips will ever compare. Of course you do, Omi. Of course you do. You update all the time. Okay. That'd be cool if the companies actually release firmware updates, but all right. That one guy. The top side dual carbon, would you consider it high end? No, I would not. If something, guys, listen, telltale sign, if it's made in China, it's not high end. That's the end of the discussion. It's that simple. And then what you have to figure out from there is there's certain companies that won't even put where it's made. I've been bamboozled here. I, I have. I've done reviews on products where uh, I was under the impression that it was handmade when in reality, well, not necessarily handmade like someone sitting there with a hand-powered drill or a hand-powered lathe, uh, but you get what I'm saying. Not in a in a line where there's a thousand of them pumping out. Absolutely, thank you, Fluffy. Fluffy Leprechaun works. What a fun name! Your videos help me really understand vaping as a whole. Love the videos and that you keep it honest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And something tells you there, Ryan, if you're embarrassed to put where it's made and it's made in China, 
then you have the same stigma attached to that as the person that's tied to them than the people that you're selling it to. Why are you embarrassed to put Made in China on there? Maybe you should have thought about that before you went to China to make your product. DJ Villain, if you have nothing nice to say, you can get the fuck out. If you don't like what I'm saying, matter of fact, I'm going to do you a solid. I don't know why you you why I ever unblocked you. Okay, I don't I don't know why I ever unblocked you. Clear clearly, you you're trying to make jokes about what I'm saying. You get the fuck out. It just that's all. You're gone. I gave you a second chance. You you you're trying to make jokes, whether it's funny or not. It's snarky to me. You can get the fuck out. Bye bye. what happens you unblock somebody they try to act cool like everything is good and then they want to that's that's the guy you know that never shows his face that talks shit the fuck out of here they're just unblocked so that means that he comes to your channel anyway anyway yep anyway the, the, <laughs> do you know how many people are blocked that still show up and they go to type a comment in. I'm going to here to tell you now, if you're watching this, how many people you got? 332 people. If you're watching this and you can't type a comment, it's not because YouTube is glitching out. It's because you're blocked. Or if, I, you know what I wish YouTube implemented? Sort of like how when you block somebody on Facebook, you go to click the shit, they don't exist. I don't know what happens on Twitch, but I'm assuming it's the same thing. That would be badass. Where if you block somebody, they can no longer... Find your channel. Yeah, Michael. Yeah, absolutely, Shatter. That's that whole Me Too movement, brother. That's what it is. Oh, I got one of those. Me Too. You were asking about what mod I'm using. This, yeah, this is the Haze mod. But this is this is done. That's vicious ant. I mean, you can't show me one product that's that's high end that's made in China, period. You can't. Can't. Nah, motivate. I know who you are. You you wouldn't get blocked. You've been around for too long. Twitch is the same as here. You can come to the town, just not okay. Okay, thank you, Links. Yeah, absolutely, Hadir. Good seeing you, brother. Uh, absolutely. Everybody's got to put their comment in. It's just here. I just you. Everybody complains that oh, we don't like censorship. We don't like this. Well, talk to Facebook because they censor. You know certain posts. So does Twitter. So does YouTube. So does Instagram. Now I do it for my own channel. I'm doing no different than what the general media is doing. You may not like it, but you have to deal with it. Yeah, they are, Cody. Yeah, they are. I actually had to remove a couple mods, about six of them, because they don't come in the chat anymore. So no point in having them. Uh, do you think Daft Poe is being now what Lost Vape was a few years ago? Absolutely not. No, no, uh, absolutely not. Lost Vape a few years ago made some of the best mods to ever come out of China. The E Petite DNA 60, good game, man. Good game. Not anymore. What's the cheapest we can make things, sell them for the most amount of profit, and bang them out? There's your answer. Yeah, I, I've seen crank. I've seen a lot of people being blocked on the Facebooks. A lot of people. Uh, 
I don't think I did a review on their dual 21700 inline, the Rebel. Look, I, I told you how I feel about Rebel, man. I've, I've been really stressed out because I've been promised things. I don't get them. I don't. I, I, I've just lost a lot of faith, man. Lost a lot of faith. A lot of faith. I'm just, the way that I'm used to it is someone does, uh, does an order for a product or they want a product. They do the order. The product gets in the mail that same day. Oh, or like if, if I do an order from France, I'll get that quicker than I get something from California. Granted, I'll pay $50 for shipping, but I still get it quick. Uh, no, okay, there will be a link on Patreon on how to purchase it, and then from there, it will be, um, I don't know how I'll post the link on, on the Facebook, so I'll probably have to do it under the, uh, the, the vape channel, the vape life, uh, page, because you're allowed to post links if you're a business. Yeah, Ash, and I'm seeing that uh, as someone that has worked with them. So I'm, I'm very aware of it. Again, I'm not saying that they're a shitty company. It's just that they're, I feel very lacrimose. How's it going, Brady? You sleeping? You tired? You want to lay down? Yeah, it does. We started super early, 10 o'clock. Getting the bands out. Well, you lay down for a couple hours. Go for it. How you doing on that? What you working on? The paradox? Um, the off -white is on the Don't talk back. <laughs> the Gallup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the company that paid. And then you want the color. Yes. The va vape fly. The creme hilled. You guys notice how I've been doing that now in videos? I'll tell you straight up. I've been paying for this. Just put that right down on the record. Uh, and I think before, you know, a couple years back, I was, um, it was at a point where no company would even send me a fucking product. Now, I'm just getting so many products in the mail. So many, so many products. Uh, the Odin series, yeah, the uh, the Odin uh, Dual Twenty One Seven Hundred by Bogan and uh, Davho, yeah, yeah, solid mod. I don't use it because it's very heavy, uh, but it's a very solid mod, sure. And the Odin single, yep, good mods, good mods. What's a lower high end? Ah. Uh, I don't even know where to begin with that question. Yes, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be with MK Mods. MK Mods. Yeah, they don't really they don't really go well together. <sighs> Latier mods. I did something from them. Uh what did I do? An RTA? Or a mech mod? I did something from them. A mech mod, I think.
Kevin, I would recommend you watch a video on how to fix the coil because that sounds like what you got going on is kind of a burnt coil situation. No, Dave S., but I saw the video of it. I saw Mike Vape video of it. It basically looks like a smaller version of the... It looks like they took the Odin, removed the fins, and made it an 18650. You still got the cheap-ass buttons on it, though. Those black buttons. How would I get that, Dave? You know you know how I roll. Dapo ain't sending me shit. You fucking crazy. So I got to wait for that to be released to the public. And by then, do I really want to do a video for them? Probably not. No, but Yee is one of the few companies that actually made a video trying to attack me, which was fun. The Type 2, I have it right here. Big shout out to Jay, Jay Miller. Sent me a Type 2. Big shout out. I got this little sweet number high end that everybody talks about fucking fantastic. It is. I can't wait. I can't wait to be blown away. Blown away by the Imperia RTA because it's fantastic. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Dan, uh, again, with the violator, um, with the violator, I, I I don't know if QP is going to send me one. I I he hasn't said anything to me, and I'm not going to message him. If I got to buy it, I got to buy it. But I heard a lot of comments on that, not necessarily in the snowflake arena, but people made a very good point. Is the name of that? It's not really a good name at this day and age. A violator. What is it violating? What do you think of when you hear the word violator? Exactly. Yep. A good old fashioned. <laughs> I feel like you go to this hotel for a good old fashioned. <laughs> rhymes, rhymes with grape. <laughs> That's what I get out of it. Uh, whether or not you do, I don't, your mind sees what it wants to see. <sighs> yeah, big D, I got to do a video on there. Um, I was actually watching some really good shit, man. I was watching some good stuff about that. I, I don't want to talk to him. I, I don't want to talk at all about politics on here. But um, I'll tell you this, though, and I'm going to put this on the record now. I've thought so much about putting my comedy videos on this channel. I haven't done it, but I've thought so much about doing it because I already have the platform. But I don't want to I don't want to break you people. And then you're like, oh, Jay's selling out for himself. So if you haven't taken the time out now to become a patron, I suggest you do so. Make a side-by-side. -side. I already did. It's called the MX-1 and J. The name slap, basically. Yeah, I don't delete videos. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I mean, there is... I have deleted videos on my other channel and that channel for other reasons, though. Not for... Like, not because of scrutiny or anything. Yeah, the new Rinko mods, they look like uh, the Vicious Ant Jammies. The Jellyfish or the Jelly... The jelly toe, jelly shoes. What was it, Bree? The jelly in the... The jelly donut. The jelly donut. That's not it. The jelly box. The jelly box. Yeah, it looks like the Vicious and Duke. 
Uh, yes, I am Hungarian. I actually have a couple hazers that speak only Hungarian. I'm not going to lie. I haven't read Hungarian in a long time, so I use a lot of Google Translate. <laughs> I can understand it if you're speaking it. As far as responding, I could say all of maybe three sentences. Where can you get a Jenna RTA? I don't know. They sell them on like eBay for like 600 bucks. Please make a squonk. Um, already did. You're ask you guys are asking for shit that I've already done. Yeah, even the badge looks similar. Yeah, big D. I saw it. I saw it. Bree showed me, then uh, Cry Crazy Roach did a little post on Discord. Yeah, you see the Hungarian. Last name, too. Last name. My my last name is from the town of Gear. Please make a donut. <laughs> nah. Mechanical tube, mouth to lungs, never will do them. Pods, nah. sub and tank, yeah, I got some really good ideas. I just fired one off publicly the other day. See how many companies take bait on that. Die codes mod. Yeah, I was going to do that on the deception, but that kind of changed up a little bit. Die codes are very expensive chips, even if you buy them in mass quantities. They're very expensive. What's that, Eddie? Are you talking about the people in here, Frank? Yeah, I think a lot of my new subscribers probably. Yes, sir, XD, all patrons. I used to not promote it, but I've lost so many patrons that I'm at the point now where if you want products, you got to be a patron. <laughs> I got you, Mr. B. I'll send you a case of donuts. Ah, yes, the J-Box. Yes, sir. Um, you got me on that one. Not yet. Not yet. Soon. Soon, brother. Soon. I, you know what I may do is I may just kind of outsource that one as well to my Greek buddies. Because the way that they're working is uh, miraculously fast. Uh, yeah, kind of work with two different manufacturers. Please make a YouTube channel. I'm on it, Cody. Well, no, they did the, uh, what was it called? The Mar the Marquis? The Mar Marquiato? The Mo Mojito? What did they do? The Ma Manchato? Mar the Marcus? Marquis. Marquis. Wow, Daz. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, I don't recommend pushing a hemorrhoid back into your asshole. I don't. And that's kind of all we're going to touch on that one. I'm just going to move forward. Again, Big D, you well doesn't send me shit. You well, Vandy Vape, Dive Poe, Lost Vape. Uh, the only companies that really send me anything. What's the last time you seen something from Joy Tech? The f or Kanger Tech? What the fuck are they doing? Um, Joy Tech was like a pioneer. Um, only people that really send me anything on like Vaporesso, Vupu. Vapefly, Sometimes Aspire. That's it. That's it. And that that's the Aspire thing is very random. Very random. What's the worst rumor you've heard about yourself in this industry? Rumor? That I only like money. I would think that 
Oh, uh, the bike is a green screen. I've heard that. I don't know if that's a bad rumor, though. Yeah, I think it was a U.S. office, Mike, the one in California. Dove Poe isn't owned by James Purr. I've met the owner of Dove Poe. I've actually talked with him on a video call. The owner of Dove Poe? That's a very Asian guy. I don't know who told you it's a white dude, especially with the name James Burr. That sounds white as fuck. Like, I've literally spoken to the CEO of Davpo on the phone, like on a video call, a Skype. He was very much not white. Yeah, I, I really haven't. You know, I drive a Tahoe, Richie. I'm, you know, I'm very whatever. Less fortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, the war had thirty millimeter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's not it's not true, Big D. Uh, and now when I talked to Dapo was back when I was starting a business, though. So we're going back two thousand fifteen. That may have changed. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, he, he knows who I am. He knows who I am. Huh. Biggest controversy is whether or not that mod is yellow or green, the one behind my head. <laughs> yeah, warheads right here. No more screws in the Tahoe. No, sir. Yeah, I will say when I spoke to the uh, the owner of Davpo back then, um, he didn't take a liking to me. We'll just say that much. The hard getting up. You can go sit down. Yeah, you are. You can go sit down and do some edits. You can try to stand up. Jay, can you get what? I'm gonna say you're hungry after that delicious bagel we had this morning. I love oh bagels. my god, it was so good. Um, well, what did you just say? The vape wire concert. Oh, Jenna on the UK. Jenna, the Jenna, Jenna's. There's no point in having a middleman. You could order it from. I can't even mention websites. Um, you could buy them online. Do, 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 do. Damn vape mongrel. No, no, I will not. Uh, so uh, I don't, I don't want to get too far into that, but that company said they were going to send me um, the first, first batches of made mongrels and they didn't send it to me. And then they sent me an email under the business asking if I wanted to carry them. I said, whatever happened to you sending me one? And they said, oh, well, we'll get you on batch two. I said, the same one that you're releasing to everybody else? They said, no, thanks. I'm not interested in it. I already answered the question about the warhead. I just said, yes, Leo. Are you listening to what I'm saying? What the fuck? And I just showed it. When and why did you start vaping? When I started vaping, 2012, 
2012, 2013. Why? Because uh, I had a T-shirt that kept on getting yellow from smoking cigarettes. It was a very rare T-shirt. I had to buy like three of them. I decided at that point I didn't want to keep buying T-shirts, so I stopped smoking cigarettes. If they want me to do the Mongol RDA, they got to pay me seven hundred dollars and seventy-one. That's how that's gonna go down. They didn't send it to me the first time, so now the second time I'm gonna make you pay for it. You don't pay for it, you won't see it. I'm a sellout. Uh, don't don't comment much after three years of watching you, and don't get tired of watching. Thank you, JPS. I need to go and do something with the grapes hanging out of my ass. Okay, Daz, that's good. That's good. Keep those grapes tucked in. All right, take it easy, Owen. You ain't lying about this rain dance, though. The ones that you use? Definitely more tolerable than the shit I was using. You look tired as shit. Cigarette brand. I used to smoke on the cool, uh, cool XLs. They were like little tiny jammies. Oh, fat, fat that is. Do I think the YouTube vape industry is dead? I'm seeing you in the 190k subscriber count for a hot minute. Well, that's because I lose about a thousand people a month because I tell people to get the fuck out. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's necessarily dead. I'd say it's dying. It's dying. Oh, uh, we won't get into that shatter. Get Bree to do that little run she does when she destroyed the force. That's how she always runs. Jason <laughs> doesn't run like a... A fucking weeble wobble. A special person. It's because the fat is so big. <laughs> kind of rub causes all that friction. Which makes me go faster. You ever heard of the word thunder thighs? Her legs sound like thunder when she runs. It's all the compression. Yeah, damn they ain't sending me shit. And I've done nothing but positive reviews for that company. I guess because that guy that made it is always yelling at the camera. What's going on, guys? They've been insider here. Deuces, Jack. Gonna do a review on this product. Oh, look, look at this. Why the fuck are you yelling at me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Your gain is way too high. This is Jack here. Got it. I know where I'm at. Thank you. Yeah, David, I've looked it up. I've looked it up how to become uh, a lord, if you will, and get the little paper. He's so terribly loud. Hopefully the RDA doesn't yell at me when I open up the box. Hi, right, welcome to the mongrel. Jab been vaping since 2015. You were the one of the first guys I found on YouTube. You always help me pick and choose what to buy. Help excuse me going. Stay honest and humble, brother. I think most people would argue and say that I am not humble. But I will do the best that I can. As you, If you've been following me since that long, you know that I've kind of calmed down over the years. I don't get so excited. I don't know if uh, the, the redundancy of all the products, I've become numb to it. But I will say that, you know, 
either uh, the products have, be, uh, have gotten cleaner or, or cared for a little bit better. Yeah, they made something that Brie wanted me to get. I think it was the nest or something. Yes, I still want you to get it. But we can only buy it from them. In the UK. And the shipping is $20. thing looks stupid as shit, though. Yeah, so unfortunately, if you want to buy the $30 RDA, it would cost us $55. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't compare me and, me and Rip at all. We're very different people. Very different people across the board. Do I feel a bit burned out? No, absolutely not. Uh, I mean, it's it would be a, it's essentially a job, you know, uh, whether or not I get paid for it. Um, uh, not really. Uh, very, very rarely. But uh, it's, it's just it's not even a hobby at this point. I buy these products. I, I do these reviews and. Hopefully, if people save money or if they watch it for entertainment reasons or whatever, then they, you know, I guess it, you know. Uh, yeah, Leo, but again, I don't give, I don't really do a lot of giveaways for people that don't give back to me. I don't really see a purpose of that. A little bit of brash honesty for you there. You know, why would I why would I give away a mod that cost me five hundred dollars to somebody that can't even give me one dollar? It doesn't really make much sense. It's like letting you win the lottery when you don't pay to play. I we would have a lot of people playing the lottery then. Yeah, Dennis, real soon, brother. Real soon. Uh, Jay Hayes, would you ever consider using another RDA if it gives you better flavor than the Jenna, or have you found not? No, I don't. I can't see how anything would give me better flavor. I mean, if you haven't used the Jenna, I mean, it's, it's like with the Typhoon GT3, I used that for how long? Oh my God, since I did the review, I don't know, four years, then finally the Jenna took his place, the RTA. No, I can't see anything giving me better flavor. It's just, it's like if you have a certain dirt bike you like and it's from the 70s and nothing can replace it, that's just your favorite dirt bike. Same thing with the RDA. I can't see how, first off, I would never choose a Chinese RDA over this, number one. And if that was the case, I would just redesign the Jenna like I'm doing with the Jenna M to be more diverse. Unlike Kamala Harris, who is trying to be diverse by only electing female people. Uh, you know, a little bit of diversity, I would just change it up, do something else, how to fix something to make it better. But it, it's essentially a favorite artist, best RDA I've ever used, period, period. And I didn't even rate it a 10 because there's things that could have been better. The, the press fit, Stupid ultimate it. Why do I like the GT3 over the GT4? Um, I like the way it hits, the airflow, the capacity with the steam tuners. That's good. I, but then again, I haven't had a build in this fucking thing since I got the Jenna. It's just sitting there. Don't use it at all. What's funny? What's funny? Chase said a funny comment. <laughs> <laughs> you with my 
Mike, they watch you, and then they watch Mike, and then Mike says it's good, and they say, but Jake gave that a four out of ten, there's funky monkeys everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Funky monkeys. No, I would not, because that Mizzou has got products. I, I, I tried to approach. I can't say his name properly, and I'm not going to attempt to. Uh, I've approached him with an idea to do a collab, but. Uh, the precedences for which it was set was no good. Uh, and then I found out a later, I covered this some somewhere, uh, whether it was a live or, or something. Um, no, nah, I wouldn't work with Atmizu for a lot of reasons. That is correct, Dustin. Does Bree have all the high ends that you have too? Now, Bree uses the Jenna with the slam cap. That's kind of all she vapes on now. She doesn't even do, well, she does, she kind of does a pod, a, a little. Oh, she's using the RTA there. Yeah, there you go. These are, these are the three, these are the three things she's using right now. The uh, Jenna, that that is that is a one of one cap. It's like a hot, purple, hot purple hot purple pink, Jenna RTA on a rebel, the uh, slam cap, Jenna with rain dance, Jet Lost recipe, and then this is right side up with the Lux. So are you really using the Lux? Because mm -hmm. of the right side up that's in there. Yeah, so Bria's yeah. got this ever-loving love now for this right side up. She used to not like it. Now she can't stop fucking vaping it. This one is really small, and it charges fast. Mm. So if I'm leaving for the night, and I only have 20 minutes before I leave, I can get this 100% before I leave. Mm. Like, I, I like that. And you doing right side up at the house now? I don't fucking know. And where do you think that right side up comes from? Don't look at your bottle. Here. <laughs> I used to do it to fix my bracelet. I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you almost punched me in the fucking face. <laughs> I'm so tired. Then go lay down or something. Don't fucking punch me. It's all right. <laughs> That's what happens when Brie gets tired. She gets very aggressive. <laughs> That'd be funny if you got a black eye. Oh, yeah, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, then people would say that somebody met up with me and finally beat my ass. No, uh, through and left me my do I do I do the batteries on the thing till they're charged? Yeah, till they're charged. I only take them out when I need to use them. They all sit on here though. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on.
What are you laughing at? <laughs> do you have any <laughs> Do you have any wigs at all? Do I have any wigs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got wigs. Really? Yes. Like lady wigs? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck kind of question is that? I have an idea. Okay. Um what was the question? Cause or what could you name a few devices that has your it has earned your utmost respect regarding looks, durability, performance, and functionality? No. I mean anything other than I'm using? No. Yeah, even when they're full, they stay on there. Why would I take them off? They're there all day. All day. Some batteries never get taken out because I don't use the mod for it. Brie hasn't had any sugar. Best sub ohm tank ever. We got. Do you like the yeah, I mean, if if you want the the pen, are we talking about just for coils? I'd say the PMP pod, but that's not really a sub ohm tank in a traditional sense. Uh, the Aspire Nefo is probably the best one, but it's too too small a capacity. All right, take it easy, Ryan. Yeah, I'm gonna dip out of here shortly. Anyway, I think I covered everything. Thank you for the five bucks there, Joe D. D. Donato. D. You look a little pissed off in that picture. All right, Brian, I'll see you tonight on the Twitches. The EH Pro Raptor, wow. Um, that's another company you don't see shit from. I don't know, Michael. I think it's just people just asking random questions now. Uh, not anymore, Abdu Ab uh, whatever your name is. Abdullah Ablagata. Will I be your long lost father? Uh, Anthony, if you we you were a hazer, we'd be able to talk about that. We have to be more on a personal level if you want to call me old daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably gaming, Big D. And no offense, but my gaming's more important than going on a YouTube channel. Mm 
It is cruise all over the place. Um, Michael, probably not because they haven't got back to me. Apparently, there's states reshutting down. So, um, I mean, I could call them. I'll probably call them on Monday just to verify whether or not we'll be. I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. I'm down for another vacation down in South Carolina. I'll pay you in Dr. Vape's juice. No, Big D. That's not the that's not the way it works. Um, my time is money, Daddy O. I I I really I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really have an interest on going on vape shows. What are we gonna talk about? Vapes? <laughs> There's only so much vapes I can talk about, bro. I do reviews every day. You know, that's why I try not to come here every day to talk about vapes. I mean, it's a vape show. Hey, let's talk about vape for two hours. Okay. It's not really fun to do a vape show for like an hour or even two hours. So, Michael, would it be safe to say that you prefer me the first hour of Twitch gaming where I'm really funny until I start losing that I'm no longer funny anymore? Or would you prefer the realist, those types of videos? Jay Hayes Love. Wow, how corny. That is the most terrible attempt at trying to make me say something. Jay Hayes Love Rip Tripper is Guy. Wow. My man just made a YouTube account just to try to make fun of my name. And make it, it should have been loves. Then you could have added anything afterwards. <laughs> Not love. -a. Make it fucking plural, Dickie. We all, we're only do an hour. I'll ask this to be two. I like political talk, but your viewers are very sensitive. My viewers are sensitive? Wow. That's the first time I've heard that. Sensitive? I'd say that they're rigorous as fuck. I prefer when you're losing. That's funny when you're yelling at all shitty players that run around dying. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow, that's nice. You prefer when I'm losing? <laughs> well, thank you, Shatter. When are you playing again? Why don't we play some tier fours tonight so I can make fun of you, Dicky? I like to watch your tank, your rank drop. <laughs> it's so dark. There you go, Nightbot's got it. Yeah, I wouldn't say that my people are sensitive. Uh, but, but for real, think about it. Like, what are we going to do? We're going to go on the show. We're going to talk about vapes for an hour. Like, what, what, could we, what could we possibly cover in that hour? That, in all due respect, Big D, and I, and I mean this with all due respect. What the fuck are we going to talk about for an hour? Geek Vapes new oh, all awesome RTA yeah. part of the Aegis series. It's yeah. called the Aegis Ultima. The Aegis Ultima RTA. Yeah, it has an Aegis it has an Aegis logo. Yeah, it's IP67. Yeah. Ultim bottom. Yep. 
Indestructible. Original. Got it. Yeah. For an hour. Yeah, they just they just came out with it an hour ago. The age is you. The only thing sensitive about me is my nipples. Amen to that. I don't know about you, but even if I like rub against the wall the wrong way, I I punch it. I get pissed off. I'm trying to cap a feel. Uh, Big D, how many people do you get on your show? Just out of curiosity. Seven people. To 31. Is that guy even doing anything anymore? Ambitions? I think he started his own hot dog business. Ambitions, because he always had mustard on his fucking face. Yeah. I've never met somebody like mustard so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ham sandwich, mustard. Hot dog, mustard. Ooh, broccoli bites. Can I dip it in mustard? It's like Andy with the mayo. I don't know who MF Vape is. I know who Vic is. I don't know, man. When well, what time is that? It's I'm telling you, the time is gonna be bad, because Sunday I'm here till about six forty-five, seven, and then I go home, I poop, and then uh, I, I kind of jump on Twitch and start gaming. So the bracket that you would have to put me in, Jay would be pooping. I'd probably be pooping. Probably be pooping. And pooping's a little bit more important than going on a vape show. The poop stream. Four or five my time. Yeah, that's me. Um, four or five my time. What am I doing on Sunday? Probably watching some shows or something. What? Yeah. But we did that earlier. What the fuck is cyberpunk? What is that? What's cyberpunk? Is that a is that a music? Yeah, I'll probably be pooping. I got another laptop. I was looking for a charger yesterday for my shit. I was like, oh, another MacBook Pro. So now it's getting ready for the update. You know how I feel about that. QP Design. How about that? They were just asking me about your <laughs> your RTA. That sounds like some type of sexual offense. <laughs> New game. Oh my God, dude. Your name is so fucking corny. Ripped, ripped her power is guy. Yo, dude, you gotta try a little bit harder to make fun of me, man. I get a keyboard that has all the keys on. While you're pooping in the Northern Union vape show and say hi in chat, just don't say you're pooping. The Northern Union vape show, that's what it's called? You gotta change the name. So it's Nuv's? <laughs> that sounds like a feminine product. <laughs> Cruz, how do you like the how do you like it? You set it all up. So now you and Chase both got your laptops. Nice. I literally have a brand new one right here. So
sell for like 500 bucks bucket. You get a waffle. You like waffles? With the butter in the squares, with the syrup pouring down the side? I like to put syrup in every square. Like literally drip syrup in each square? Once I mentioned that that sexual offensive RTA, he dipped out QP Designs. That was quick. I heard his feelings. He'll get over it. Go to his safe space. <laughs> Pickles! Did I get that Rebel side-by-side? Side? No, I, I don't really like the way that that looks. All right, QP Design, don't need to get all defensive about it. In reference to a comic book villain, that's, that's fresh, man, because I'm coming out with that Wolverine RDA. And then a little bit later, I'm going to do the Avengers. Bree's mocking some shit up, too. We're going to call it the Wonder Woman box mod. Oh, oh, the Poison Ivy. Does it make you itchy? No, no, because Poison Ivy is a hot redhead with pearls that only wears leaves for clothes. <laughs> Isn't that Uma Thurman that played that? Isn't that a weirdo? She's Mormon. Yeah, Mormon. But she she's smoking. Cigarettes. <laughs> That's actually a really good name. We should make something called the Poison Ivy. <laughs> oh, who's, who's the hot chick from Who Killed Roger Rabbit? Jessica Rabbit. Okay, we make another product. Called Is it Jessica, Jessica Rabbit? It's Jessica something. Jessica Rabbit. We call it the Jessica Rabbit. It vibrates. <laughs> Did the, didn't the Wolverine already? It might have. I don't know. I'm just making a joke. I don't think Phil's going to get offended by what I'm saying. I had to buy it from some weird Canadian website, though. Wait, hold on, Big D. The name of your shop is called Big D Vapes, too? You know, when I first started this channel, the channel was Vape Life. And, um, like, if you do YouTube uh, backslash or fo forward slash uh, Vape Life, it brings you to the same channel. Amazon Prime. But he's not getting out of the truck. He's just driving around. He might want to hurry up and get out there before he reads a sign and thinks. Yeah, my stuff is here. Mister. No. Mister. Mister. You already have one for me. Well, then we're going to have a problem, QP, because I already bought one. Because people are talking about how great it is that they have it. Very lazy. Jay, please answer me. Can you please tell me what's the best? What's the best mod that I can distract? That I am distractible in the most best top side. What? Best top side sub home tank in your opinion. Love you from Miami, Florida. Why do you have to add where you're from? Uh, answer me. Tell me what's the best mod. Best mod for what? Oh my God, what a loaded question. You know how many mods I've done reviews on?
No one has it. Oh, because there's people on your page, Phil, that are like, yo, oh my God, the best RTA. Like, go read your comments. I'm like, how the fuck do these people have this already? Start shipping December 4th. All right, take it easy, Eddie. It's good seeing you, brother, man. I got to go poop. Yeah, I hear that, Zach. That's my life story. I poop too much. I, I, I have to be pooping like four times a day. Hey, Jay, how do you feel about the Lost Vape Centaurus? I did the review on it. Is something wrong with your second P? Because you do the first one. Jay Hayes love Rip Trip Ower's ass. Rip Trip Ower is guy. Yo, you, can you fix? If you're going to create an account to try to insult me, like at least fucking spell it correctly. What you got? Good. It's a good start. They're special needles. I need them for a project. See? Those look like stitching needles. Like to stitch skin. That's what they use. Really? Hook needles, yeah. Huh. To go in and scoop up and grab and scoop up. Yeah, that's up. what I was going to do. Okay, you stick that on my skin. <laughs> that will be the last that anybody ever hears of Brie. No. I will chop you up and feed you to my dog. No. Your thighs first. That that dog's gonna need to, need to take naps. Which company ranks highest on your shit list? Vicious Ant. No, if I had a second thought on it, I would have put that in a video. Once I do, you have the open sign on, Bring. Uh, once I once I do the video of a product, I don't ever use it again. I typically just give it away. There are very, very, very few occasions where I'll continue to use the product. Like some RTAs, I'll do that. RDAs, not really. Maybe for a day, uh, and then if something pops up, I might like retouch back on it, and then just add to that video but very like a mod there's not really much to it once you've done the review of it that's kind of it first impressions Mm. Yeah, very very rarely. Very rarely will I actually like re review something. People wanted me to do that on that ether. Cause you know, everybody's got that. So they just want to hear something that makes them feel better. No. No, absolutely not. Not the Centaurus, especially it being spelled incorrectly. I would never use a mod like that. You'll buy the MacBook Pro. That shit was like from an hour ago. Are you still using the top top eyed? What's a top eyed? Like a topical solution? Here, from my hemorrhoids? The top eyed? Nah, I stopped using that once the hemorrhoids went away. 
Or do you mean topside, like the mod? No, I don't use that. Guys, I use three mods, man. Well, two specifically. That's it. That's it. My third mod is just randomly whatever I have that has batteries in it. Till I get something that fits my criteria, what I want. How much would you guess the mods you have in the background are worth by now? Are they insured? Uh, insure is a drink that you get that's for old people. Uh, but they don't have that. But, well, they're under the insurance of the business. Uh, how much are they worth? Uh, probably not what I paid for them. If we had to put a value on everything behind me, probably half a million, roughly. I mean, that second shelf by itself is probably $300,000. You know, the, the Zeus 4K, that's $4,000 right there. And then, I can't really see those mods. I don't, I don't know, $15,000 for that first row, roughly. 4000 thousand, five, two fifty, four fifty. I don't, I don't know, man. A lot of money. No, they don't, Charles. They come in the lives to ask the questions of products that I already have the reviews of. These are the same people that skip forward to the review to the end part where I rate it and then they write a comment saying they don't like the review or they mention what I missed when, in fact, I already brought that up when it was down below, but they didn't watch that part. That's the same type of people that come up in the live shows. Same, It's the same fucking people every time. Every time. The person who says, uh, skip to 10.29 for the review. Like, right, skip the three minutes and, and 41 seconds for the review. Read the song, man. I thought it had a fucking... It doesn't... I thought he had a puppy and a papoose. A papoose. <laughs> and sure, it's like senior chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah, Reggie, maybe I'm not all that funny. Maybe I think I'm funnier than what I am. Really? Yeah. Then why do you never laugh? I laugh at all your jokes. I don't know how I had another MacBook Pro. Like, it makes me wonder how many I really have. I think, I, I don't know which one this is. It's silver, though. I have to pull it up and see what specs it has. I can't laugh while you're doing lives, Twitch lives, because you like to edit those and cut those up. You like to edit those. You hate to edit those. Those are fun. No, you hate it because you fall asleep. You got your papoose? If I had a papoose, yeah. I don't know what I would do with it. Because I don't have babies or puppies. A papoose to me sounds like something like where you farted twice. <laughs> ah, man, I got a bad case of the papooses. <laughs> I thought you were leaving, Big D. What the fuck are you still doing here? No, I'm just saying that the name makes me think of Big Dick Vapors. Like a bunch of Dan Clark sitting around vaping, holding their dicks in their hand. Well, you haven't missed much there. The 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 Desu Desu Desu. Papoose. That's where you fart and burp at the same time. <laughs> Man, I just papoosed. All right, what are we at? Two hours? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to dip out of here. Thank you all for watching. Stay beautiful. Ah. Uh... I'll leave this video up. Yeah, fuck it. I'll make Brie do timestamps for it. She'll have fun. Two hours. Put it on. What do you put on? 2X? You transcript it, don't you? You don't even watch it. You just try. That's how she does those timestamps in like 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, Jenna. Got a Jenna RTA timestamp.
No, what caught my attention was you keep asking me to show up on your fucking show. Uh, all right, you guys be good. Stay beautiful. Remember, someone loves you. And... And now, it's time for a vape review. He's a comedian. He's a realist. He keeps it real. He's the only real vape reviewer. Presenting Jay 